from our Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Hafade Guam, welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonagan Charfris, thanks so much for tuning in. We have a great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, I introduce you to Australian dancer and choreographer Tamika Westcombe. A little bit later, we get a recap of Summer of Sounds Party Number 4 from Asha and Victorious. I will close up the show tonight with music from Hotbox when they performed on Live Local Fridays on Guam's favorite I-94. But first things first, he's a writer, he's an artist, he's a director, and he just so happens to be from Guam. Here's more on local boy Stephen Lefevre. He is perhaps the greatest American writer alive. Yes. Maybe ever! Yes! Sir! Yes! Yes! 30-year-old <laughs> Stephen Lefevre is a jack-of-all-trades when it comes to art. He's an actor, writer, filmmaker, model, poet, and martial artist. Born and raised on Guam, Lefevre graduated from Southern High School and attended a year at the University of Guam before leaving off-island to Southern California to further pursue his dreams. After I graduated, um, I went to Los Angeles to become an actor. That was my dream, um, but you know, I only had dreams and education on how to be an actor. I didn't have a grind and connections, which is what you need in LA. Another good thing to get in LA? An agent. So I actually gave, I got an agent and I made him handle my hustle while I worked on a book. Um, I was working on this story and when I finished the book, um, I had no money in LA anymore. I was kind of homeless. So then I, my party hooked me up with a buddy pass to get back to Guam to market my book. He would eventually find his way to Japan, which is where he's been for the past four years. I was always interested in Japan. I was always interested, you know, born and raised on Guam. I love Guam. It's a great place to grow up. But I'm thinking the world, you know, it's huge. You can't even see Guam on the map. And when you look at this globe, you gotta, for me, I felt, you know, I want to be out there. So California and Japan were my two things when I was growing up. This is where he would start his YouTube channel called Tasty English, which was geared toward ESL students. And he would find a love for directing. So I was living two and a half, two hours north of Tokyo, just doing independent filmmaking. And then I just moved to Tokyo a few months ago. And I'm going to be getting into um, more acting, I guess, in the TV shows and stuff like that. Lefevre was recently on island representing Guam as part of the Literary Arts Group for the Festival of the Pacific Arts. There he was able to present his book called Mariana Sky. Not listening to what other people have told you on what life is, but also taking that and integrating with what you feel is right and wrong. And so this book kind of encapsulates my philosophy told through the eyes of a toto, Mariana Fruit Dove. It starts from the northernmost Mariana Island, which is Farallon de Pajaros, and it ends on the southernmost, which is Guam. Also shared at FestPak was a short film he directed entitled Hadzi Gaituno Esti, or What Does God Smell Like? I wanted to start being a director. So right now, I have a lot of passion for art and it's right now it's directing, writing and acting as my main things, I guess, that I'm doing. Ultimately, Lefevre says it's a matter of just how passionate you truly are. Passion prospers. Be humble and always feel like you need to work on yourself. You need to keep making it possible. He admits that living on Guam as an artist is hard, but you have to keep on keeping on. When there's a day that you're just watching TV, are you producing or are you consuming? If you're a filmmaker, you're watching a movie, okay, you're studying. If you're a video game creator, you're playing a video game, okay, maybe you're studying. But if you're just sitting there and you're passing time, are you really working hard for your dream? That's what I always think. That's why I have no TV in my house. Because if I'm sitting down and I'm not producing something, then I feel worried that I'm not going to get to where I want to get to. To follow Lefevre on his adventures, you can find him on Facebook or check out his webpage at www.lestees.com. That's L-E-S-T-E-Z-E. -E. You can also follow him on Instagram at Lestees. Until I can give back to my community without having to worry about money, then I'll feel like 
I'm living my dream because that's my ultimate goal. The reason why I left Guam is to eventually come back to Guam and teach what I, what I know because art is a, my passion as well as education. That's also my passion. So I want to just give back and I want us to keep believing that you know, we can create an industry and we can get to where we need to get to because Guam is globalizing and we need to realize that and we need to be, embrace other cultures. If we want cultures to embrace us, to globalize, we have to embrace other cultures, which was great for Festpack because I saw that. I saw people embracing other cultures and it made me really proud. So we just need to keep that momentum going, basically. Don't go anywhere because when we return, I introduce you to Tanika Westcomb. You're watching In The Mix.